Hello everybody. So I just wanted to get a little bit personal in this uh, vlog entry and talk about some sort of um, recognitions that I've had, revelations I should say recently that I've had that I find to be uh, particularly helpful. Maybe they'll be helpful to you, maybe not. But um, something that I realized recently is that if I had not, if it had not been socialized into me, if I had not been taught this need or this desire for a romantic partnership, this idea that I needed some, some other person to complete me, to be my other half, to fulfill me, I don't know that it would ever have occurred to me. And I'm, I may have had romantic feelings for people, but I don't think that necessarily this idea of like tying my life uh, to someone else in that way, I don't even just mean marriage. I mean, like, even just, like, a relationship like that. If it hadn't been modeled to me, or if the, this kind of, like, you know, overblown romantic notion of what that is supposed to be hadn't been presented to me through books and movies and songs and things like that, I just don't think it would have occurred to me at all to engage in such a relationship. Friendships, I think friendships I probably would have uh, wanted that would have felt like more essential even if it hadn't been taught to me but I just don't think that romantic relationships really would have been exactly something that I would have been propelled towards and so it's just I think it was a helpful revelation for me because I've spent so much of my life uh, wanting that you know, like I've been in relationships and the, the thing is like when I've been in relationships, I haven't necessarily enjoyed them all that much anyway. And then when I'm not in a relationship, which is the majority of, a to of the time, it feels like there is a sort of emptiness or longing. But I feel like that it's, it's taught to me, you know, it's taught to all of us <laughs> that emptiness or longing or incompleteness. It isn't true. Our souls don't necessarily need uh, that. But... But we're taught to feel that this is something that we need. And that's true of a lot of different things. That it, it may not occur to us to really want a particular thing out of life, you know. Like to want a certain number of followers on social media or something, uh, for example. Like that didn't exist. Your soul existed. My soul existed long before that type of thing ever. Um, before, before social media existed, right? But... There are just these things that we are kind of led to believe that are essential to our well-being, and they're not necessarily essential to our well-being. So I don't know what else to say about it, although it was very freeing to me. And, you know, I think part of um, maybe my inability to truly appreciate being single, because recently I've recognized that, in fact, I do, like, really, really <laughs> enjoy being single and having my own life and determining, you know, my day-to-day -day and, um, you know, how I just want to exist as a human being on my own, in my own energy, on my own time, in my own gosh dang way, you know. It's so important to me and essential. That is actually what's essential to my well-being is that. Um, but like this idea being draped before me of what I should truly want, what's really going to completely and make me enough, you know, like some sort of relationship that's going to prove somehow my worth or something. I don't need that. And, and, and that desire actually keeps me from truly being able to enjoy what I do have, you know. So it was a very freeing uh, recognition. Maybe this message will be helpful to somebody else, which is why I'm sharing it. Also, just for uh, myself and anyone else watching, I'm going to pull a goddess card here, which is Coventina Purification. So this is interesting. It's been a recurring theme for me lately. It is time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. Absolutely. And we have the dove here, and um, she's holding up a cup of water. So it's like understanding, having peace with the love that you already have for yourself, and like understanding that that is enough. Also, I have a fortune cookie here, so we'll see what our fortune cookie message is. 
I never know exactly where to look on this. I guess it's right here, this little, anyway. I'm never looking in the, in the right place for this camera, but whatever. Okay, it says, make two grins grow where there was only a grouch before. Make two grins grow where there was only a grouch before. Um, hmm. Well, I think that what it's saying is like, regardless of having a relationship or not, like just finding your own personal happiness is going to bring greater happiness to other people. So if you love and care about someone or if you have romantic feelings or whatever, like being happy in your own energy is definitely going to bring greater happiness to other people or it should. If not, then that's their choice to be a grouch, I guess. But um, <laughs> so I guess anyway. That's what I've got um, to share with you guys. Maybe it's helpful to someone. Maybe it's not. Who knows? But anyway, I'm putting it out there. So anyway, I'm wishing you all the best. Take care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.